Hello guys, this is Josie and welcome to another tutorial on how to make 10k coolant cells. So, uh, I've been searching the internet for a video on how to make these, but uh, without any luck. I've only been looking at a lot of forums and stuff, uh, since I couldn't find anything on YouTube uh, describing this in a good way. Um, but all the forums w were just uh, with uh, people asking on how to do this. So now I'm gonna try and explain it to you in this video. Um, what you need is you need the fluid slash solid canning machine. Um, I'm, pr I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it's just called fluid canning machine in here. Maybe it's actually... Yeah, okay. The name is right. My bad. Whatever. You need this machine. Um, you make it from tin item casings, electric circuit, and basic machine casing. Um, you need this one to actually make the coolant cells that you need to make the 10k coolant cell. So what you need to do is you also need to create these universal empty cells, these guys, from glass pane and uh, tin item casing. In case you don't know how to get these. Uh, you need a forge hammer. Um, you need the hammer, and then you just need some tin ingots. You're gonna make some plates, and you can make these plates into the item casings. Um, that's basically it. You can also do it in a metal form. Of course, these need uh, EU uh, power to run, but then you just make then you like put in the ingots, they will be turned into plates, and you put the plates in, they will be turned into tin item casings, as you see here. Nice. But what you want to do is that when when you got these universal fluid cells, uh, you need some empty cells as well. They're also pretty easy to make. Um, then you're gonna fill the universal fluid cells with water, which you're gonna you're gonna prone down. I'm not gonna, gonna hold shift and I'm just gonna fill up the machine so you see it's gonna start to fill with water in here then you're gonna take the empty cells into the machine and then you're gonna take some lapis uh, lazuli dust into the middle of this and just let it work so when the process here is done we should get a coolant cell and we did awesome um, the coolant cell. It's not a 10k coolant cell yet, it's only a coolant cell. You're gonna put it in the middle. You're gonna get some more tin plates, just made out of tin ingots. Just gonna wrap it around the coolant cell, and bam! 10k coolant cell. These are usually were, uh, used for overcluggers, which you put in these machines, like the macerator, the, uh, in the furnace, and the po that's not a pulverizer, that's the uh, compressor, I think it is. Yeah, these guys, overclockers, um, which are using a lot more, <coughs> taking a lot more power, but uh, also increasing the speed like a lot. If you do like this, you'll see it's it's going pretty pretty fast. This is also a lot, but if you have like four or something. Do like this. You see the process really fast. Put more in. Doom. So that's basically what you. Uh, that's at least what I use the 10k coolant cell for. For um, you can use them for a lot of other stuff, but that's up to you guys. So this is uh, this was my quick video on how to make the 10k coolant cells. Hope you uh, hope you like it and. Uh, if you do, please like or subscribe or whatever. <coughs> I'm gonna keep trying to make a lot of tutorials on needed stuff, especially in the Feed the Beast Infinity. So, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video, and thank you for watching.